This is Candy with another video. Today I'll be using the Yibo Spring Twist to create today's hairstyle. The Spring Twist, of course. And I'm using the Let's Jam Extra Hold Conditioning Gel or Jam in order to just make her hair nice and sleek at the roots. I'm going ahead and making the first set of parts in the back of the head and I'm making what I call cuts. These are not boxes. These are more like a horseshoe shaped parting. So I just call them cuts. And typically I go ahead and do four um, pieces of hair in the back, four sections, four cuts in the back. So yeah, let us get the show on the road and show you guys how simple and how easy this is, you guys. Anyone can do this hairdo. It's super uber easy. All right, so this is what the hair looks like. It's very soft and springy, very lightweight and a nice quality. All right, so to do the hairdo, I have to start off with a braid. So that's what I'm doing, just attaching the hair with a braid for about an inch yes so you just braid that down as tightly as you can based on the texture of this hair you want to ensure that the hair is securely attached to the head or to the hair before you start twisting and once you have braided for an inch or so then you go ahead and you transition into a twist now, for the twisting, it's important to, you know, make a note of what direction you need to twist in. I'm adding a little bit of the, the Let's Jam just to smooth down her hair before I start twisting. And if you notice, I'm twisting um, over to the left. The hair that I'm actually holding with my left hand, I'm bringing it over the hair that I'm holding with my right hand. And you guys, once I get to the end, I do not twist it all the way out. But what I do is I actually swirl the hair around my fingers just to give it a more natural look at the ends. And yeah, there you have it. Twist number one. And so now let me show you again for the second time I'm attaching the hair to her hair at the roots with a braid just braiding it down for about an inch or so making sure that the, t the, the braid is tight enough because based on the texture of this hair it loosens easily if it is not tightly installed so I'm being careful to make sure it's tight enough and I'm adding a little bit more of the jam just so that her hair will blend in nicely with the twist And again, once I get to the end, I just twirl the hair around my fingers just to make sure that the ends look nice and natural.
and there you have it you guys yeah nice and springy at the ends and just like that twist number two as easy as one two three All right, so we are pretty much at the half mark and are again conditioning her hair at the roots just to make sure it is nice and smooth and sleek before braiding. And pretty much taking the, the hair. You see how springy it is. Giving you that nice bounce when you pull it. So yes, I'm going ahead and installing the hair at the roots with a braid like I mentioned before. This is just to reinforce it. And again, it's important, like I mentioned before, to twist the hair to the left. If you twist it in the opposite direction to the right, then the total look of this style will be definitely different from, you know, that spring twist vibe that you're looking for. What you would get is more of a kinked twist, which would probably give you more of a passion twist look, you know, with the hair not looking very smooth. So since this is what we're looking for or going for today, then I'm twisting it in this direction. If you choose to do it in the opposite direction, just know that you will not get the same look. So I can't stress enough the importance of moisturizing the hair thoroughly while braiding because you do not want for the hair to be, you know, tucked away for a few weeks and being dry and brittle and standing the risk of breaking or, you know, getting damaged.
And you guys, the way you part the hair will make all the difference in determining how full your style looks. I definitely did a full detailed video to show you guys exactly how to part the hair in order to get a full looking braid style. So I will go ahead and link that below so that you can watch that in detail. And there you have it you guys the style is all done and as you can see it looks nice and full no signs of the scalp showing or partings visible none of that stuff yeah this is a very versatile hairstyle you guys it can be styled in a formal updo it can be styled in half up half down it can be styled with a high ponytail you name it it's just a versatile style and it's totally weightless so that is a definite plus for wearing a protective style it's not cumbersome to wear not heavy at all and it's awesome just a little bit of details about the hair the hair itself comes as one package with about four bundles of hair it has enough hair in one pack to complete the style I used it up and had a little bit left over and the style took about four or so hours to complete and yeah simple easy hairstyle awesome for protective styling and here you have it in natural lighting I thank you guys for watching and make sure to rate subscribe like and hit that notification bell so that you can see whenever i post i typically post on a wednesday and a saturday so stay tuned keep it locked for many more videos to come deuces